All right, guys, welcome back. So I've got my new rotor here, um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble it, or how I thought I was going to assemble it. I'm going to use this big stand because it's already built, and it's big enough where it can hold this size of rotor and still work and, and still fit. But... The RD3DP um, zero force motor that I built had five magnets, but when I bought the magnets, they came in a set of six. So I decided to build a six pole rotor. And I was going to build a top like this that goes on top of it. But for the life of me, I had the hardest time printing this thing out. For some reason, the clear filament I have was just not behaving. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see, this one leg here, actually two of them warped. Actually three of them warped. So it doesn't, I mean, it's okay. I could probably get it to work, but I don't like the fact that it's warped. The center part that holds the, the bearing didn't come out very good. So I decided instead I'm going to use these. And these will go on here like this. So the magnet will go in here. This will go and this will get screwed down in there. And then I have another cap that goes on here. So I'll have a bearing on this side and then a bearing on this side on this on the black cap that I have. And that should be kind of cool looking. So the magnet, this guy right here, will go there like that. That'll get screwed down, and that's how it's gonna how it's how it's gonna look. Something like that. I think it should work out okay. I think with the screw going down in there, it should hold it. Um I thought about extending this out and putting it down inside there, and I tried that. I still may try this just for shits and giggles, but I think I'm going to go with this setup here. Again, I love building other people's designs because then it gives me a chance to play with the stuff that I use to build those designs. Like for the RD3DP rotor, I mean for the... The mini, um, the mini Newman motor, I built the, the prototype. I, I was able to make two of these nice coils so I can use those for other things. And then, of course, I got these magnets for the RD3DP zero force motor. And I thought, hmm, I got six one inch square cube magnets. Let me see what I can. I mean, this is not a, a complicated design by any stretch. But I had the worst time printing this out. I think it was the filament. So, again, I may still try to do that. Problem is, is that when I put this guy on here, and it fits okay, if you look, these top ones here are not aligned. Now, it's only off by like a couple of millimeters, and I, with the magnet in there, it would pull it back into alignment. And then I have these holes here to screw down into the, the system. But I don't know. I'm not really fond of how this guy came out. So I think that's why oh, I got to be careful with these freaking magnets, man. They already got me one time. And especially with this thing, I got to be really careful. Anyway, I'm going to take this guy apart. I don't know if I'm going to use these big coils. These are beautiful coils. I love these things. I really like the fact that Sky Collection told me to start winding by hand. Stop with the machine and do it by hand. And he's right. It comes out freaking gorgeous. But I have no patience. So, let me get this guy apart. And then I'm waiting on the, the black cap that goes on here for the second bearing to finish printing. I already printed one out with this clear filament. 
And it came out okay, but eh. So stay tuned. Oh, and in that same light, um, I've got these, I think they're two inch by half inch by one inch monster freaking rectangle rec rectangular neo magnets. And this is for the big Newman motor, the big RD3DP Newman motor. Where is that? Oh, I've got it disassembled right now. Yeah, this is the rotor for that. And so I may do something with these guys too. Because why not, right? Anyway, stay tuned. And just an FYI, I'm always up for suggestions. If you guys are looking at this and saying, oh, that's stupid, or why don't you do it like this? I'm always up for suggestions. In fact, some of my best tweaks are suggestions. Like I get a lot from Mag Magnetis, Mag Magnus Attractus. I think that's what this channel is. Um, he's always telling me or giving me uh, good ideas. So, yeah, if you guys see something that I'm doing and you're saying that's OK, but why don't you do it like this or maybe that might not work or something, please feel free to pop it in the comments. All right. Stay tuned. All right. So here's the the centerpiece I was talking about. That'll go in there. That'll get glued in there because. It doesn't have to. Um, it doesn't have to come back out for anything else. But what I thought of is, I'm going to take this bearing out, and I'm not going to use a bearing in here, because I have the two bearings, one on the bottom there, and one on the top for this unit. So basically, I designed these. They call brakes, that'll go on here screw on to the rotor and then there's a hole there where i can put a um a smaller screw in there and i have two flat spots on this rod one up here and one down here so it'll work for one of these i have to make a new flat spot for the other thing but i have to 3d print now some inserts with slightly smaller holes than uh, than eight millimeters, so it'll fit really tight on the rod here, because I don't need bearings on here, because I have bearings on here, if that makes any sense. Stay tuned. All right, so here it is, finished. It's quite heavy. It's actually really freaking heavy. That's probably like a couple of pounds, maybe a pound and a half. Um, so I have this, which will hook on to the, uh, the shaft. I'm not a hundred percent about the screws down in here. I don't know if that's going to be strong enough to hold these magnets because these magnets are powerful. Um, I might have to put a strap around here. I really don't want to. I'm trying to figure out some other way other than putting glue in there. And I don't want to glue them because that just takes away from everything. And I will put it in this stand. I mean, I could try this guy, but eh, I don't really like him. So yeah, let me get it in the stand. I'm going to use the maglev principle here where it'll be bouncing up. It'll be pushing up off against this magnet repulse. Um, I can't put another, another shaft catcher, if you will, down there because the, um, the plastic isn't thick enough down here. I didn't think about that, but I think one will, will work. I think one will be strong. And besides the holes, these holes are really tight. So it's going to be tight up against the shaft. Anyway, let me see if I can get it in the system or in this stand and see what we can do. Stay tuned. Yeah, so I opted to go with some zip ties 
just to hold that down because there's enough of a lip in there where the magnet's not going to come out. But that screw alone, I don't believe will do it. I mean, I think it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> Famous last words. Anyway, it doesn't look too bad with the black straps. I've been able to make them tight. I got to cut a couple of them off, though, because I l only learned how to tighten them until after, like, the third one. So I got to check for ones that are loose and then, re and then redo those because I got plenty of zip ties. All right, stay tuned. So there it goes. It's in the stand. I just have to put the top on now. And it's tracking really well. I'm surprised. I thought it would be all cockeyed. Anyway, let me get the top on and get some uh, some coils in there. I don't know where I'm going to put the coils. I have to come out here on either end here. I'll probably start out with the smaller ones. Anyway, stay tuned. All right, she's done in the stand. Like I had, I had to put the ties on there, but it turns out it's not so bad looking. It's tracking really nice and straight. And of course, it's using the maglev. All I gotta do is put a coil here and a coil here and get it going. I like it. It's dangerous looking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the magnets are gonna stay put. That's got a good five millimeters down and five millimeters up holding that magnet in there. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I got it hooked up to the dual circuit, JL94 circuit. Got the two smaller coils from the prototype Newman motor. Let's see what we got here. I'm only starting out at seven volts because I don't know how fast this thing's going to go and I'm not 100% confident with those the way those magnets are clamped on even at seven volts it's flying putting out good output too all right let's crank it up a little bit Uh, 9.6 volts. Really good output now. So the lights are solid on my side. Oh, they're solid in the video too. Well, kinda. Nice and level. I'm going to stand back here. I don't care about the camera. But I don't want those one inch cubes flying out at me. I think they'll be all right. Let's crank it up. There's 11 volts. Yeah, she's starting to fly now. I don't think I want to push my luck. I think I want to turn it off just in case. I want to check the see how the magnets are oh it's got a lot of torque yow they look all right they look like they're doing okay Let's crank it up to 12 volts 12.6 12.8 12 volts Woo, that's really putting out some output now. I'm way over here. <laughs> I don't trust it. I don't trust it. All right, I think that's good enough for right now. I don't want to push my luck. 
Worked out good, though. Let's stop it. Uh, it's got a lot of torque. That's a heavy, heavy rotor. And because of these bearings and because it's a maglev, essentially, this thing would go forever. All right, I've got another idea for another rotor using these guys, these big ass 50 millimeter by, I think it's 25 millimeter by 18 millimeter. They're big and heavy. I've got another idea for those. But I want to try some different coils on this one. But that's all for today, guys. Ciao. Thanks for watching.